Hi YouTube, it's your girl QL Chemist, um, and I wanted to come to you with a hopefully brief video. Um, as you guys know, in the past couple of videos, I've been rocking my um, pipe cleaner curls, and this is like I did them last Saturday, I think it was. Yeah, I did them last Saturday and took the slept on the pipe cleaners overnight, took them out Sunday morning. So I'm going into almost a week of wearing these, and for the most part, as you can see. You know, they are staying curled very well. However, um, sometimes when you're in the shower and, you know, by accident, even if you have them covered, the steam or a little bit of water may get to it. You may have a situation like this. I have this one clipped so that I could easily find it. But where this one kind of, if you notice, this one's sort of hanging lower than the rest of them. And... Um, I'm kind of enjoying this sort of shape I have going on. So in order to restore, I guess, the tightness of its curl so that it kind of matches the rest of the ones at the back, I'm going to show you a little tip that I like to uh, do. Okay, so first what you're going to need is um, a bobby pin. In this case, I'm going to use the smaller size for this lock because it's, it's kind of it's one of my thinner ones in the back toward the edge and it's not you know I mean I have a little length but this should work and I'm just gonna find something to miss my hair with um, this is actually um, some green tea spritz that I made for my face but I just need something to moisten my hair with because if you recall I already used product when I set it so this will just kind of reactivate that so all I'm gonna do spritz this up I don't want to stretch the what curl is left in there too, too much, but I'm going to just mist it really lightly. And then I'm going to take the bobby pin. Let me get in close here. Okay, I'm going to take the bobby pin. I'm going to hook it to the very end. So with that, I'm going to split it open and insert my lock into that so now it's clamped you know the lock is in between the two sides of the bottle okay that didn't work the lock is in between what you want to do is capture it where it's in between the two sides of the bobby pin and then what you want to do is kind of recreate the curl pattern around just wrap your lock around the bobby pin now I'll tell you in a second the reason why I'm doing this is that it will recreate your curl and in the meantime since you only need it to, to fix like that one um, after you roll it up you just like slide it up into where the curls are like so and so you can't even really tell that that one's there unless you're really digging into my head you know and go oh what's that so that's the reason why I like to do it because you can actually wear it out you know and at the same time it will retighten your curl um, I also have a long a bigger one in the back and this is this was not even as significant because I have so many curls up here um, that you really can't tell but this one's kind of stretched out of shape so I'm gonna do the same thing for this one only for this lock it's a little thicker I'm gonna try the larger hairpin. Same thing. Take okay, is that the right one? Uh oh. Yeah, there it is. Take it because it's kinda, you know, you can tell it's kinda losing its curl a little bit. Mist it with your spray. It shouldn't be dripping wet, but it should be, you know, saturated. Then you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna stick the curl, I mean the lock through there, and you're going to kind of try to duplicate the direction that the original curl was going in, wrapping your lock around the hairpin until you get to the top, and then you're just going to take the ed the tip should be, you know, they shouldn't have any lock or hair wrapped around it. You just kind of press it up into some of the hair that's there. And let's see how this one looks because I've not done one here. So yeah, it's done, but it's not, can you see that? So it's right here. So 
right there. But, you know, if I was walking down the street, it's not super obvious. Um, the reason I even came up with this idea when I was still pretty early on into my locking, uh, maybe I can't remember how many months in. It's in my hair album, though. I have a link to my hair album on my channel page. Um, my first year, it should be under my first year of locking, I did what was called bobby pin curls. And I actually took the large hair uh, bobby pins and actually rolled my locks on them. And I wore it out kind of as a style. Um, and then took them down and I had, I got very similar curls to the pipe cleaner curls. Um, for me, I've seen some people who wear the pipe cleaners out. Um, I can't really find a pipe cleaner that matches my hair. Um, I know on camera here, my hair probably looks very dark, but in the sunlight, my hair has kind of like reddish undertones. Um, you know, it looks like it's it's changing colors, or I've heard people say that your, your hair oxidizes over time. I think that's what's going on with my hair. So this kind of is very a uh, nice, inconspicuous way of fixing just a few curls, but you can still go on about your day. Um, you don't have to sit up under the dryer, at least I don't. I don't have to sit up under the dryer. Um, I can, you know, get dressed, head out, and nobody's, you know, going to really be like, oh my gosh, um, you, you know, you got something in your hair. So I wanted to share that quick tip with you guys. Um, yeah, I know this is not one of the videos I mentioned that were going to be coming up, but this was a quick tip that I uh, wanted to share. So I hope that was helpful to someone who maybe, you know, you've curled your hair. And this works with other curls too. This is, I mean, not just pipe cleaner curls, if you have tighter curls. Um, but yeah, you've curled your hair and pretty much the majority of the other curls are still holding up, but you have like a few little crazy curls. Because I have some locks that are kind of resistant to curl anyway. So they're the ones that tend to want to fall. Also, the ones, I've already fixed these. The ones in my temples, they, uh, they definitely, um, tend to drop faster because they're they're thinner so any like humidity or steam and they just start to droop and what happens is they'll end up you know all the rest of the hair is like even here and they'll like be hanging down you know by themselves so I did tighten those up um, last night and one in the back on this side so um, I'll well since I've shown you that one I don't feel like I have to come back and show you the results per se because this is the result of me using a bobby pin uh, and you can see how tight these curls are, fresh off the bobby pin, and they have the same formation as the others. So, yeah, quick tip. Hope that was helpful. Um, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Bye.